In 1967, the United States Supreme Court decided a trio of cases concerning allegedly unconstitutional eyewitness identification procedures. In the first two cases, United States v. Wade and Gilbert v. California, the court recognized a defendant's Sixth Amendment right to the assistance of counsel during post-indictment pretrial witness identifications. In the third case, Stovall v. Denno, the court identified an additional constitutional safeguard. On August 23, 1961, Paul Barrent was stabbed to death in his kitchen in Long Island, New York. Barrent's wife, Frances, tried to attack the stabber, but he knocked her to the floor and stabbed her 11 times. She was hospitalized and required major surgery. Investigating officers found evidence on the Barrent's kitchen floor that led them to arrest Theodore Stovall. Two days after the stabbing and before Stovall had a chance to retain counsel, officers took him to Francis Barron's hospital room. Stovall was handcuffed to one of the officers in the room. At an officer's direction, Stovall spoke a few words for purposes of voice identification. Barron then identified Stovall as the stabber. Stovall was subsequently tried for murder. At trial, Barron and the officers testified about the hospital room identification and Barrent also identified Stovall in court. Stovall was convicted of murder and sentenced to death, and his conviction was affirmed on direct review. He filed a habeas corpus petition in federal district court, alleging, among other things, that admitting Barrent's identification testimony into evidence violated his rights under the 5th, 6th, and 14th Amendments. Stovall asserted that officers improperly forced him to participate in the hospital room confrontation without counsel. He also argued that the circumstances of the confrontation unfairly suggested to Barrent that Stovall was the one who committed the crime. The district court dismissed Stovall's habeas petition, and the Second Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert and set the case for argument with Wade and Gilbert.